Hey kids, in this video, we're gonna break down what a eight out of eight example is off the AP College Board's website. Here you'll see I have create sample A. Again, this is right off the College Board's website. If you go to the exam tab, and down in sample responses, we are just doing sample A. So in this video, I just wanna go through one more time with a rubric over a create example and just show you what the best practices are. Let's start with 2A. Remember there are two parts to this, the video and the prompt. Let's go ahead and take a look at this student's video real quick. And let's take a look at what this student wrote. Now, according to the rubric, prompt 2A, you need to provide a written response or audio narration in your video that. And as my helpful reminder, kids, I would do both. Do the audio narration and turn in your document. You want to identify the program language, identify the purpose of your program, and explain what the video illustrates. Let's take care of our checklist. The video ran continuously, wasn't screenshots. It was less than 60 seconds, and the size we're gonna assume is less than 30. The video also demonstrates one running feature of the program. In the written response, the response identifies the program language used. We identify the purpose of the program, and then we described features shown in the video that connect to the purpose of the program. Again, I would highly recommend doing both audio commentary and the written response. Make sure you're doing both. But all that AP needs is the written part. Row one, two A would get the point. Let's look at two B. To be on the rubric says describe the incremental and iterative development process of your program, focusing on two distinct points in that process. Describe the difficulties and or opportunities you encountered and how they were resolved or incorporated. In your description, clearly indicate whether the development described was collaborative or independent. At least one of these points must refer to independent program development. Let's go ahead and look at my checklist here. We have three things we have to look for. We need the overall development, the first difficulty or opportunity, and the second difficulty or opportunity. Here we see the response describes the overall development process, not just the two key points. And here we see the response indicates whether you completed the project independently or with a partner. Moving to our first difficulty or opportunity, here we see one difficulty or opportunity encountered early in the development process. We see the response described the source of difficulty or opportunity is either feedback, testing, or reflection. And we see how that response indicates how it was incorporated, solved, including whether you wrote the code independently. We do this for one, but we also do this one for the second. The difficulty the source of the difficulty, and if it was incorporated into the final program. Just a note, if the first difficulty or opportunity was not solved, then this one must be. This one would receive full credit in both row two and three. 
Let's look at 2C here. The rubric says, capture and paste a program code segment that implements an algorithm marked with an oval in section three below, and that is fundamental to your program to achieve its intended purpose. This code segment must be an algorithm you developed individually on your own. You must include two or more algorithms and must integrate mathematical and or logical concepts. Describe how each algorithm within your selected algorithm functions independently as well as in the combination with others to form a new algorithm that helps to achieve the intended purpose of the program. This one here, we're taking a parent algorithm that has two sub-algorithms and both of those sub-algorithms have to have some sort of mathematical or logical concept. This one has two parts, the copy and paste of code and then the written part. Let's take a look at the written code here. This here is written in Alice. If you've taken our programming class, you've actually worked with Alice a little. If we look here, they have both of the algorithms ovaled here. And this is the larger algorithm in it. And if you look here, it has mathematical parts and logical parts. So we have a math here, 15 meters. We have some logical statements too. We had an if statement right here. We have a loop down here. And then we have a while and an if statement. If else statement here. So these two algorithms are combined into this larger one here, world start. The first one is an if statement, if else statement, and the second one is an if else statement there. So this one would absolutely qualify as a parent algorithm with two smaller sub algorithms, and both those sub algorithms contain logic and some math. So this would get full credit. Let's look at the written part. First, you wrote the algorithm yourself. I don't see that in here, and that user probably should have one. They didn't get the points taken off for that, but you always wanna be safe. The response included a copy-pasted version of the code for main and sub-algorithms with ovals around each of them. Yes, we just looked at that. The response identifies a selected algorithm parent in at least two included algorithms. That one, I think the user could have done a little better of a job there. In that one, they could have labeled it one and two. So just be careful there. Included algorithm one clearly identifies the code for the algorithm. This one, again, I think they're a little suspect on it. They absolutely do describe what they do, but they really don't point to the specific one. In that one, you should probably do a little better as you can see, they didn't really take off points on this one, but we could make an argument. It's better to be safe. The user does explain what the algorithm does independently. The user describes how the code of the algorithm works. And yes, they use mathematical and logical concepts. We do this also for algorithm two, where we clearly identify the code for the algorithm explain what the algorithm does independently, describes how the code of that algorithm works, and yes, that algorithm also uses mathematical and logical concepts. Don't forget though, we also need to talk about the larger parent algorithm. Here, the user clearly identifies the code for the selected algorithm, describes how the selected algorithm combines the included algorithms, and finally, explains how the selected algorithm helps to achieve the overall purpose of the program. Again, this one would receive full credit. This one would be row four, five, and six. So it'd get a point on four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and look at 2D. 2D, the rubric says, copy and paste a program segment that contains an abstraction you developed individually on your own, marked with a rectangle in section three below. 
The subtraction must integrate mathematical and logical concepts. Explain how your abstraction helped manage the complexity of your program. So if you look here, the abstraction is world winner and restart. And this one definitely does have mathematical or logical components. It's a logical component, this if else, and mathematical, when they equal 10 coins, they win. Instead of writing this over and over, they can just call world winner and restart and the code runs there. Let's take a look at the written part here and our checklist. Did the user indicate they wrote the abstraction code themselves? Yes. Did the response include copy pasted version of the code for abstraction with a rectangle around it? Yes, we just saw that. Response identifies the abstraction by name. Yes, right here. And they explicitly described how the abstraction manages the complexity here. This one will receive both a point on row seven and eight. The exemplar example from the AP College Board overall would be an eight out of eight and full credit on the create task. So that's it kids, that's breaking down what a eight out of eight example is for the College Board. Hopefully this helped you a little. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know.